enjoyed that last weekend? Yeah, it was a brilliant experience. Yeah. Probably the one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. Yeah. Especially comparing Southern Hemisphere to Northern Hemisphere. Mm-hmm. I'd say probably the best competition yeah. in world rugby. In what respect then would you would you say that? Perspective you talk about crowd, yeah. atmosphere, yeah. quality of the opponents, yeah. brand of rugby, yeah. definitely one of the toughest competitions in the world. Yeah, it's pretty surreal. I'm sure that Saturday one with uh, as you as you were running out with the kind of red arrows going over the top of the crowd going crazy even when you scored that first try. Yeah. That really lifted the guys I think. But yeah. it was a shame we couldn't capitalise on yeah. our first off performance. Um, we'll learn from that and I'm sure we'll bounce back even harder this weekend. That's the fellow South African in the second row with you. How did you feel that combination went with uh, Johan? Oh, it was, it was good. I don't think the other guys understood us that well because <laughs> we're actually communicating in Afrikaans. <laughs> so, no, it was good. Good player, good quality and could just improve. Did that help that the two of you were you know, experiencing the Heineken Cup? first time together? Does that help? Yeah, it was, it was a very big moment for both of us and yeah. and definitely this week we'll have better use of it, I think. How was that you about um, facing Leinster, the, the other, you know, a huge scene you face Claremont now, it doesn't, doesn't get much easier? No, it doesn't get easier, but I, I th- uh, the ice is broken now. I don't think you get be- bigger than Claremont in Claremont, especially their crowd and the quality of players. So we played Lensa the first game of the season. It's a completely different team now. But still, between those four lines, anything can happen. Yeah. Do you know much about Leo Cullen? Uh, I've just watched him over the years. You know, he's a pretty kind of underrated player in yeah, some yeah, respects. But what, what do you make of him as a... Oh, I think he's a workhorse. He's just... Never say die, man. I can watching players back home, and especially a guy like that, lots of respect, mm-hmm. and just the way he carries himself. And I don't know how old he is, but how did you feel he went as a forward pack there out there last weekend? Uh, we were good. At, uh, we weren't good enough. You can just you can, you can beat around the bush, but we weren't good enough, mm-hmm. um, especially in, in gaining momentum for a backline of our quality and players that can actually turn the game yeah. and I, I think we, were, we showed in the first couple of minutes that we were yeah. up for it and it just showed that we scored a try and there was momentum and it was yeah. actually they were on the back foot yeah. and our goal must be to yeah. to do that for 18 minutes okay. to put a quality backline like I was away yeah. Yeah, it's easy to catch them on a bit in the first yeah. five minutes with a few of your moves that caught them oh, unaware. Yes. So you got uh, any surprises lined up for lunch there as well? <laughs> um, no, that was good planning, I think. And, and it, actually, the eyes were a bit big after that. They didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. And it was just disappointing that we couldn't yeah. keep that quality and that intensity going for longer. Yeah. You spoke about intensity. Are you capable of doing that for 18 minutes? Because it's not something we get week in, week out in the Rabo. And you go to someone like Claremont, and he was just ferocious for that first ten minutes. Yeah. Is that something that can be replicated from you guys over eighteen? Yeah, I think so. We've got uh, we've got the quality of fitness trainers here that our fitness levels are up there. Yeah. It's just momentum is that's, that's the only thing we need, yeah. and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have momentum this weekend. I can promise you that. But still in the competition, George, you're still fighting. Yeah, still fighting. We're never gonna give up. Yeah. We can't give up as a team like us. We can. Next week, uh, this week we can yeah. have a big victory and we can be right back into the competition. Yeah, things can change very quickly. It can change overnight, yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's not much option there though either, so it's pretty much make or break if you lose this game. There's not kind of much hope to go <coughs> forward in Europe with two losses. Yeah, this is a, this is a crucial one, I yeah. think. Um, probably the m- most crucial game we'll play, yeah. especially if we want to head into the playoffs. And yeah, just set the benchmark again. Yeah. Let ourselves down, but um, yeah. we're going to stand up. And how would you rate this game in terms of matches throughout your career? How big is this in comparison to? Oh, that was the biggest, definitely. And this one against Leinster. Oh, same. Yeah. Yeah. Home advantage as well. It's a lot's been said about home advantage in Europe. It's going to be key this week. Yeah, game. I believe so. Especially, it's hopefully it will be a bit dry. If you yeah. Playing one in the afternoon. 
Yeah, can you throw the ball around a bit? Yeah. And with our great crowd behind us, yeah. it's just going to motivate the guys, it's going to motivate yeah. each of us, and we're going to lift ourselves. These type of games, almost when you're playing <coughs> against international players like you know, Driscoll's, Darcy's, Vardens, that there's almost like a benchmark towards international rugby then. You, you can almost lay on a marker as well. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, it's where you measure yourself for you when you play against the best. Um, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, definitely love you know, love playing against the, their centre partnership on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. You know, two phenomenal players and uh, learned a lot yeah. from the weekend as well. So looking forward to this weekend as, as much. That battle went pretty well, I thought, as well, didn't it? I mean, you, you and John caused them a lot of problems. But. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, we, we didn't maybe get as much ball as maybe we wanted to, no. but I think we showed in the first first 40. Yeah. Um, I thought the forwards were there in the first half. Mm -hmm. we, we flew into them yeah. from the start and caught them a bit on surprise. Yeah. And um, managed to shut their crowd up for at least <laughs> 10 minutes anyway. So. Yeah. Um, a phenomenal atmosphere, wasn't it? There? Oh, yeah. Um, except the Millennium Stadium was the best atmosphere I played in. Like, um, yeah. You know, the second half there, looked just looked around when they scored, and yeah. the whole crowd was just jumping up and down yeah. all yeah. together, and it was a phenomenal atmosphere. How much of that do you take in during that? Does it does it affect you? Or do you no, not really. That was the first time I'd really had um. looked into the crowd, and and uh, you know, obviously it's really loud when you when we run out and but you do kind of you bite bite into it a little bit and mm -hmm. makes you gets you up a bit yeah. more for the game so I think that's the beauty of the Heineken Cup as well playing in these atmospheres yeah the best players I suppose raise the game you know, yeah definitely party, yeah and I think the crowd plays yeah. a big part especially yeah. we get a good crowd here and it yeah. definitely helps us Simon was saying earlier that the Leinster game at the start of the season doesn't make it have, have no bearing on the, on this weekend. Is that how you see it? Yeah, see exactly the same. You know, we got um, they'll be looking to get one back yeah. on us. Like uh, yeah. we put as much points on them as as Clermont put on us yeah. as we, on the weekend. So we'll be both in the same situation, and yeah. we'll be wanting to put things right from last week, and they'll be wanting to put things right from the first game of the start of the season. They'll be bringing a different team down. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think you know if we win, then um, we're definitely still in the in the um, in the battle. Yeah. Although they are different teams, like you mentioned, do you do you take any sort of like psychological edge when you come across players that you did come across that that day and just say we have got one over you? Does that does that help at all? Um, yeah, maybe a little bit, but um, you know everyone has their on and off days. I think it, on their day, anyone can be anyone. I think so. Um, you know, you can't really take take a backward step thinking that, you know, just because you've got one over them once, uh, you're going to do it every time. Yeah. You'd have grown up watching Driscoll, you know, play against him. What makes him good? Well, it's just it's everything does really is leadership. It, everyone looks up to him. He's got so much respect and uh, he leaves talking on the field, really, doesn't he? And, um, yeah, he's just... Normal player, really looking forward to being able to play against him. We talked about a great start last weekend. Same is going to be important this weekend, Scott. And then, you know, I remember a couple of years ago, Leinster came down yeah. and they blitzed the Scarlets for 20 minutes and it was game over. Yeah. Um, it's going to be important this weekend to get that opening 20 minutes. So. Yeah, definitely. I think um, if we start anything like we start the game on the weekend, yeah. I think we'll be in for a shout. We just got to. Maybe cut some little errors out, yeah. and uh, as George was saying, try and keep that intensity up for as long as we can. And yeah. we've got to learn now to try and put teams teams to bed. Yeah. Um, came close last year. They were obviously the two Munster games. There wasn't much in it there. And no. Just yeah. Didn't, couldn't quite. Get over yeah. Hopefully now we would have learned from that and yeah. would have turned narrow yeah. losses into narrow wins. Yeah. I think you're kind of ready to start taking these big wins. You, you, you know, beat Northampton away last year. You went close with Munster. Did really well on the weekend till that. You know, when everything kind of went wrong with, with the red cards. Yeah. You ready to take that next step and start taking these big, big scalps? Yeah, definitely. I think this is well. 
you know, at the start of the season, one of our goals were we all spoke as a team. You know, everyone's been talking about us for the last couple of seasons, you know, young team developing, whatever. And I think we're past that now. We definitely got to start getting some, some silverware and stand and put a mark, mark down. We, you know, we win a couple of good games and then we tend to lose a few ones slip away from us and um, I think we've just got to, this is our season now to, to try and step up.